Okay, North Dealer, North South Vulnerable, East West are not. Okay, so North has a 5332 shape, balanced hand, um, only 7 points though, um, not enough to open um, any kind of 1 level opening bid. If we had an extra card in diamonds, let's say like that, we would have a week 2 in diamonds because we have a good quality diamond suit. But with only five cards, it's not a week two, so therefore it's a pass. Now to east. Uh, similar thing for east, really. East has got seven points. Five, four, two, two. Not quite as balanced. Um, but again, we haven't got a six card suit, so we can't open a week two. We've not got enough points to open at one level. Again, if I was to move this here, we would have a week two hand, so therefore we could open a, a week two. But we don't have six card suit, so therefore we would pass. And now to south. Okay, so South has got uh, 10, 11, 14 points in total. Um, we have an unbalanced hand, 5-4 is always unbalanced. So in this instance we can't open no trumps because we're unbalanced. So we want to open one of our longest suits. The temptation, especially if, if, you're, if you're new to bidding, the temptation might be to bid the clubs because look how good those clubs are. But you should always bid your longest suit. It's about length, not strength. So we want to bid, in this hand we want to bid hearts and then clubs, showing 5 and 4. Assuming the bidding allows us to. Um, it, given that we're playing Akol, we can open one heart with four or more cards, and then we're looking to rebid clubs that will show 5 4. If we were playing Standard American, we would also open one heart, but that initial one heart would promise five because we'd be playing five card majors. The bidding's actually going to be the same hearts, then clubs. And the only slight inference difference is Akol only promises four hearts when you bid one heart, whereas Standard American would promise five because you're playing five card majors. In either scenario, though, we're bidding hearts and then clubs next. One heart, then two clubs is the pattern I'm looking to form here. So first bid is one heart. And now to West, bidding after one heart. So West has got a 4 4 4 1 shape, um, 11 points. So if the opponents had opened our singleton suit, you might be tempted to make a takeout double. 4 4 4 1 is a really good shape for a takeout double when they bid your your shortage. In this instance, South has just bid one of our four card suits. So we wouldn't want a double here because actually our partner might bid diamonds, which wouldn't be good for us. Um, we haven't got enough points to bid one no trump, we haven't got a five card suit to bid, so therefore we have to pass. This hand may well be good in defence actually, or rather, depending on whether our partner bids, we might be bidding later, but at this particular moment we have no suitable bid. So therefore pass. And now back to North, responding to partner's one heart. Um, we don't have a heart fit, that's the first thing you should always check for. Can you support your partner's major? The answer is no. Um, whether we're playing Standard American or Akol, in this instance we can't support the hearts. Our partner's only promised four, given that we're playing Akol, but even if they promise five, we can't support the hearts. So, do we have enough points to respond at all? And the answer is yes, we have six or more points. When you have six or more, in this instance seven, um, you should respond something, because it's a possibility you still have game on between the two of you. Um, however, our suit that we want to bid is diamonds, and to bid diamonds, because they're a weaker suit than hearts, we would have to bid two diamonds, because we can't bid one. And to bid at the two level, as responder, you want ten or more points, or a hand that's worth it, nine points and a good suit, for example. So in this instance, we must bid something, because we have enough points to bid, but we can't bid at the two level. So that means we can only bid one spade or one no trump, and we haven't got spades, so that only leaves one bid left, one no trump, often known as the dustbin bid. Um, six to nine points and a denial of a fit for partner's suit. So that's the correct bid here. Okay, back to East. Um, East has an interesting hand that may well have been tempted to bid had the bidding gone differently. This spade suit is of questionable quality, um, but we were probably willing to just kind of get in with a cheeky one spade bid here. However, the one no trump bid from North has actually stopped us from bidding a spade, and I certainly don't think this hand is worth two spades. At the two level, you want a better quality suit and more points, a better quality hand overall, actually. Um, so in this instance, um, East is going to be passing. Had the bidding on differently, you know, one club, one diamond, we probably would have chipped in with a one spade bid, albeit it is touch and go as to whether this spade suit is worth bidding. I think given the vulnerability, it's probably just about worth a one spade bid. However, we can't bid one spade, so therefore we're going to pass. Okay. Back to South. Now South's original plan was to bid one heart and then two clubs. Partner's response of one no trump hasn't changed that. They haven't supported our hearts or anything like that. Um, so we're just going to follow with our two bid plan. Hearts then clubs, five then four, unbalanced hand, minimum unbalanced because we're not jumping. Um, so that's what we're going to do. Important to recognise that this is not stamen. It's only stamen after the opener bids no trumps, not the responder. This is natural. Okay, back to West. 
Um, still no bid here, unfortunately. If this bid had been two diamonds, you might then have come in with a takeout double, showing spades and clubs, for example. Um, in this instance, they've bid two suits, and we have four cards in both suits, so we definitely do not want to be bidding. We want to, it looks like we're going to sit back and defend this hand, whether they're playing clubs, or indeed hearts, or anything else, maybe no trumps. So I'm going to pass. Okay, so partners bid hearts, then clubs. That shows five and four. Normally, we're, um, we're looking to choose one of those two suits. We only ever bid something different if we have a really long suit ourselves or if we have a better hand that we want to bid four suit four sing or something like that. Given that we start with one no trump, we can't have a good hand because we've limited our hand to six to nine points. So very frequently, after a one no trump response, and if partner bids two suits, you're looking to just pick which of those suits you prefer. Now, the term prefer is unusual because we kind of don't like either, but there is one we prefer rather than the other. So that the complexity here is that they're not showing equal numbers of each. This is 5-4, so they have 5 hearts, 4 clubs. So we have 7 cards in both suits. So it's almost a, I don't really care, I don't care whether it's clubs or hearts. Usually you will find that a 5-2 fit plays better than a 4-3 fit. The reason for that is your partner has a 5 card trump suit against the potential bad breaks whereas in a 4-3 fit your partner only has a 4 card trump suit to combat against bad breaks. You usually find that a 5-2 fit is better than a 4-3 fit. So for us to agree with clubs over hearts we would actually need 2 more clubs than hearts. So we would need 4 clubs and 2 hearts or 3 clubs and 1 heart etc. The only other alternative to choosing one of their suits is to bid our own suit. Um, having started with one no trump our partner knows we're weak. If we were to bid our own suit, let's say diamonds, we would actually want a six card suit or longer to do that because we need a good reason to be not choosing one of our partner's suits. So I wouldn't say that this diamond suit is of sufficient quality or quantity rather to actually be bidding diamonds and ignoring clubs and hearts. So this is something known as false preference. I am preferring hearts to clubs but it's false in the sense that I don't actually like anything that's going on here. Very frequently after a one no trump bid will you false prefer one of their two suits. In this instance, I'm going to return to hearts because that's a 5-2 fit. I'm hoping to play in two hearts and no more. Okay, so partners bid two hearts, which means they prefer hearts to clubs, but it's important we recognise that they don't necessarily like hearts. They don't even necessarily have a heart fit. We've given them the option of hearts and clubs. They have chosen our longer suit, which they frequently will do. Um, given their one no trump original bid, game is definitely not on, and we don't necessarily even have a heart fit, so I'm certainly not moving, I'm not doing losing trick count or any analysis as to whether we can make game, because we don't even know there's a heart fit. After false preference, it's very often, probably even always, the right thing to do to try to get out at the two level. It appears partner doesn't really like what's going on, so let's play at two hearts. In, in fact, we want to really play in one heart, but obviously we can't. So definitely get out now, and hopefully... Um, We'll have some success in hearts, albeit there might not be a fit. So let's see how it goes. But definitely no more bidding. Okay, so leading against two hearts, everyone passed two hearts out. Um, we have two choices for me as to what we're leading. We're either going to lead a singleton diamond, um, hopefully our partner will win the diamond lead, return one and we can trump it. The alternative is to lead top of a sequence. They're the two standout leads for me. I wouldn't really be interested in leading a club, especially given that they were bid here. And I'm not interested in leading a trump, especially given that we have the ace. We want to try and kill one of their cards with our ace of trumps. So singleton and ace-king, they're actually very attractive leads. They're really high on the kind of priority list of what you want to lead as a defender against a trump contract. Um, ace from ace-king and singleton, both up there, but for me, ace from ace-king just pips it for, for one reason and one reason only, really. You get to see the dummy. So we lead the ace and then we get to see whether we think spades continuing is a good idea or maybe we need to switch to our diamonds or maybe even we need to switch to something entirely different. We'll play the ace of spades, we'll see a signal from our partner, we'll see whether we want to continue them or not and we'll also decide whether we want to switch to the diamonds or not. So ace of spades, let's have a look at the dummy. Okay, down goes the dummy. Okay. So, we're in two hearts. Um, my first kind of thought is, oh, I wish I was in diamonds, not hearts. Um, this is kind of proof that the bidding system, whatever system you play, is not perfect. Sometimes you finish in, in a fit, a 5-2 fit, when actually you would have had a much nicer time in a different suit. In this instance, diamonds would play much nicer. Um, but, you know, it is the way it is. So, we're going to try and analyse um, how we want to play this hand, whether we want to draw the trumps or not, and uh, if we do want to draw the trumps, how we're going to play them, etc. Um, now in this particular instance, our trump suit is very weak. We have, um, we're missing the ace, king, queen, ten, nine, eight. So it's very likely we have lots of trump losers here. 
However, that doesn't mean you should not you should just not draw the trumps, because those trump losers are losers whether we like it or not. The only reason we shouldn't draw the trumps is if we think we can trump on the dummy. So can we rough in the short holding? In this instance, the answer is no, we can't rough in the short holding. There's no shortages to be exploited. In fact, the shortest suit on the dummy is the trumps. So we can't do anything about it, unfortunately. We could, I suppose, trump the fourth round of clubs, but there's no point in doing that because they're all winners. So what we want to do here is we want to draw the trumps because after the trumps have gone, which will take a while, we can then play ace, king, queen, and jack of clubs, winners, and all of those diamonds, nice winners. The problem, of course, is that it's going to take a long while to get the trumps off the opponent. They're going to win a spade, they're going to make us trump, we're going to play a trump, they're going to play another spade, etc., etc. Um, it's really not good. This hand is probably going to go not very nice because of our lack of quality in the trumps and the fact they're going to be making us trump spades in our hand. We're going to lose control of the trump suit pretty quickly, to be honest. Once the trumps have gone, we're going to have a very nice time. We'll run the diamonds, run the clubs, it'll be like tricks coming out of our ears time. But we're probably going to lose control of the hand before that, especially given that they start with a spade. That really hurts us because they play a spade, they play another spade, we trump. We're already losing control of the trump suit. We've gone from five trumps to four to three to two, we're suddenly losing control of trumps and we haven't yet even drawn them. That's because of lack of quality, lack of a fit, and they've attacked us where we're going to have to trump. If they'd led a diamond or a club, we would have a slightly easier time because we, we, we're keeping control of the trump suit. Um, so yeah, I'd much rather be in diamonds, but we are where we are. We're going to play a small spade from the dummy, obviously. They're probably going to continue the spades. We're going to have to trump in hand, and I'm going to look to play trumps to try and draw two of their trumps each time. The hope is that they're breaking three and three, so after three rounds of trumps, all of their trumps will be wiped out, and then I can enjoy my diamonds and club winners. Um, but what's more likely is a 4-2 break, and in which case they're actually going to wrestle trump control off me by making me trump in my hand. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a pretty grotty two-heart contract, to be honest. They're probably going to win something like three or four trumps, uh, and maybe they're going to be able to work out a spade or two winners. Well, they're certainly going to win one. They might be able to win a couple of spades because they might run us out of trumps and run down the spades once the trumps have gone. Um, yes, yeah, so it's not going to be very nice, but I'm going to do my best by playing the trumps at every opportunity because we can't rough in the short trump holding. Very important that you recognise that. Just because our trumps are bad doesn't mean we shouldn't play trumps. So in this instance, I'm going to play a small spade, and I'm going to look to play trumps as and when I can. Okay, so small spade played from the dummy. Um, now, depending on what spade this defender plays, it depends on their signalling methods. When your partner leads an ace, they're promising the king. You want to try to encourage that, that, that suit, encourage them to carry on uh, when you have the queen, which they do. So this hand wants to try to encourage. Now it depends if they're playing high to encourage or low to encourage. You can play held or reverse held. It all depends on their agreements as defenders. Um, my personal preference is you play low to encourage and high to discourage. But I understand you could play that the other way around. So my card, if I was playing with my, my regular partner, would be I would play the two of spades, which is a low spade saying, I'm happy for you to continue that suit. Um, in that instance, uh, my partner would carry on with the king and then a low one to my queen, etc, etc. Um, if you're playing the other way around, you would probably play the ten to make sure they carried on spades. That would also be encouraging, depending on your agreement system. So I personally prefer low to encourage. That's the card I'm going to play, as if I were playing this, uh, this hand as a defender. The two spades saying, I'm happy for you to continue spades. Um, obviously, this hand has to play the five. And the defense have the first trick, and they're always due that spade trick, of course. Now this hand, having seen their partner's signal, one of the best reasons why you lead ace-king, because you get to signal from your partner, um, we're going to continue the spade suit. King of spades, low spade, they're going to carry on playing low spades. Now we have an option here. We can trump it, which is good, obviously, because we win a trump, albeit we're trumping in the long holding, which isn't great. Or we could throw away a loser. The problem is we have no losers to throw away. In all of these three suits, or rather these two winning suits, the non-trump suit, um, we have winners coming out of our ears. We have winning diamonds, winning clubs, winning everything. Um, so we can't really throw away a loser because we don't have any. So it kind of, we're forced to trump. But you can see how we're already, trumps are diminishing. We haven't even played any yet. Um, but we've got to do what we've got to do. So trump the spade. And now I want to play the trumps in the hope that get rid of the trumps to then enjoy those winners in the minor suits. So play a low trump and we're hoping for cards to fall together, kings and queens and tens and stuff to fall together. So low trump, they play the eight, they play low. I accept they might win the eight, but we've just got to keep kind of persisting with the trumps. Um, and they win the queen. That to me looks like they had to win the queen, so I'm starting to think that they might have ace, king, queen, or maybe queen, single turn, or king, queen, double turn, or something like that. Ace, queen, double turn perhaps. So 
Counting the trumps, always try to keep the trump count in your head. When you're, when you're drawing trumps, you want to try to count them. So we've trumped him once, and we've had a round of four. So that's five in total. Six, seven, eight, nine. The opponents still have four trumps left. Not good, unfortunately. Uh, Queen of Spades carries on. It's good to, as a defender, it's good to keep making declare a trump. So Queen of Spades, we have to trump it. We kind of have no alternative. As so. You can see what they're doing. This is known as a forcing defense, by the way, if you're interested. You're forcing the declarer to rough in their long holding. We do not want to do that as a declarer. You can see, look, we have lost control of the trumps. If you look at the way the hearts are positioned now, the defenders have control of the trump suit. Very bad for us, which is the way it is, unfortunately. Um, low heart again. I've got to keep drawing these trumps to enjoy my clubs, but, you know, they're going to keep winning them. So the low heart goes nine, low, and the king appears here. That's making me think either they have ace, king, queen. They started with ace, king, queen, or they start with king, queen, doubleton. So that's that. Um, and now they've won this trick. Now, they have an interesting option here, because if they play a spade, we're going to rough. If they play a club or a diamond, we're going to win. Um, it's all about what they think is going on in the heart suit, and also what Declarer thinks is what's going on in the heart suit. It's a bit of a guess, to be honest. Uh, but pl by playing a spade, they're making us trump in our hand. That's still probably a good thing, albeit it actually does let us make our jack of hearts. If the lead was over here, they could cash the ace of hearts, drawing our jack of hearts from us, and then play a spade. Um, it, as it happens, this hand has won the lead, so they have to do something. Um, so what I would suggest this hand probably will do is probably continue spades, albeit it does let us rough. Um, if they played a diamond or a club, we can play diamonds and clubs and make them rough in instead. So it's a bit of a catch-22, a bit of a guesswork from the de defender here as to what's going on in the heart suit. They don't know, we don't have six, and they don't know their partner has the ace, etc, etc. So they probably continue spades. Um, imagine the ace of hearts was here, for example, and the jack-10 was here. We'd have to rough with the ace, and then they would have their jack-10 as winners. So it's probably the right defence, albeit it does give us the jack of hearts here. So low spade, we rough that. With our last trump, you can see how they're forcing defense. We've lost control of the hand, basically. Um, throw away a club or a diamond, doesn't really matter, but probably a club. Keep our length in diamonds. And now, we're just going to play tricks in the hope that when they rough in, we, we keep just win as many minor winners as we can before they, we eventually lose control of the hand. So it doesn't really matter which suit we choose. I'm going to go with the clubs, but honestly, either is fine. We've lost control of the hand because we've lost control of the trumps, but we've just got to do the best we can. So I'm just going to play as many clubs and as many diamonds as I can get away with until someone roughs in, and then just hopefully they'll have to play diamonds and clubs eventually. So we'll win as many as we're going to win. It's kind of a case of we're at the mercy of the defensive breaks in the minors now. So I'm going to play a club. We can't play any more trumps, of course, hoping that they're split because we've run out. Everybody plays a club. That's good. They didn't break horribly, which would have been 6-0. That would have been pretty unlucky. Play another club. Everyone plays another club. Good. They were 4-2, at least. That's good. See how we're just sort of scrapping for tricks now, because we've lost control of the trump suit. Play another club. Club. Discard a diamond. And we get some very good news here. They also discard a diamond. That means that this hand has no trumps left and no clubs left. So this hand with the trumps is going to have to keep following to clubs. Very good. We can just keep playing clubs. Um, if we played diamonds instead, we would have then had to fall back on clubs later. So it actually didn't matter which order we played the miners in. We could have played diamonds, they'd have trumped in, and then we would have played clubs later. Um, so we can catch the jack of clubs. We're just kind of going until it stops. <laughs> keep going while the times are good kind of thing. Jack of clubs wins because the clubs broke in our favour. The hand with long clubs had the trump. Now we try a diamond. Which wins. Um, but as you can see here, We are now at the mercy of the two trumps that we're going to lose. We're going to lose the ace, king, ace, ten of hearts, and we're actually always going to lose those tricks. So even though we have two diamond winners, we can't enjoy them because of the heart presence here. So those two tricks are the defenders, which means they're going to win five tricks in total. So we actually managed to scrape home in our two heart contract. Now the contentious point, the point where you, know, you might argue the defense could have gone differently, was when this hand had the lead with the second round of hearts and they had a choice of what to play. By playing a spade, they allowed us to rough with the jack of hearts. In different scenarios, that was the right defence. So I think without them being psychic and knowing we had such weak hearts, I think the correct thing was to continue spades. The only thing they might have thought was that we didn't have the ace of hearts, because otherwise we would have played that to try and draw some more trumps. So maybe they might have come to the conclusion of playing a diamond or a club at that stage. It's, very, it's quite tricky to know, to be honest. 
Um, but we got away with it. The defence let, let us make our jack of hearts and then we just ran minor winners until we kind of scraped our way home. Um, so yeah, not a nice contract, but just about managed to make it. And the trump break wasn't too horrendous, so we managed to just about get home for eight tricks.